Okay, question eight from example sheet one. Let's jump straight into it. We are looking for part A, the temperature of air before it enters the heating section. So we're interested in this temperature here. Um, process one to two. Two is cooling and also dehumidifying it. Um, you'll see here um, it starts around there at point one, comes through cooling and dehumidification to point two. Um, okay, so steady flow process. No process. Therefore, mass is conserved. So M A one is equal to M A two is equal to M A two. Okay, we need to find two values at point two, uh, and then we can use the psychometric chart to find the temperature at two. Um, okay, since process two to three is heating, specific humidity will not change therefore w1 is equal w2 is equal to w3 note that they're not equal to w1 because humidifications occur in process one to two okay we can quite easily find because we've got two values here we're able to use star a31 and find w3 which is equal to w2 as we said and we find that to be equal to 8.4. So we've got one value at point 0.2 now. Okay, so we need to find a second value at point 0.2. And at 2, we know since condensation will have occurred due to cooling, air at point 0.2 is saturated or relative humidity is equal to 100%. So therefore, at point two, we know relative humidity is equal to 100%. So therefore, we've got two values. So hence, it's easy to use chart. We've got this value here, and we've got the value of W2. And using chart A31, um, you can determine that temperature is 11.25 degrees C prior to entering the the cooling section. Okay, change the color of my pen and we'll have a look at part B. Part B wants to know the heat removed in cooling. So if we look at the energy balance for the cooling section, and you can see H1 equals to H2 plus W1 minus W2 HF 10 degrees C plus Q out from cooling. So just breaking down this, this equation a bit more, you can see that this relates here to humidification. This is to do with cooling. This is this is the enthalpy at point one, and this is the enthalpy at point two. Um, therefore, using chart A thirty one, there's a range of value. You can, we can pick up the values we need to complete this calculation. Three point five. W2 is equal to 8.4. Of course, this is grams of H2O per kilogram of dry air. You need to convert that to kilograms, of course. Um, H2 is equal to 33 HF at 
10 degrees C is the enthalpy for fluid at 10 degrees using table A4. A4, you'll find it's equal to 42.022 kilojoules per kg. Okay, so now, now we've got the values that we need. We have H1, we have H2, we have W1, W2, and Hf. We can find Q coulomb. Hence, we just need to rearrange this equation here. Um, and what you'll find is nine times you find the answer Q out through coulomb to be equal to 61.36 kilojoules per kg from F. Okay, considering part C, this is very straightforward. We want to find out the amount of air supplied in the heating section per unit mass dry air. And Q in through heating, quite simply defined as H3 minus H2, which quite simply 43, 44 minus 53 is equal to 11 kilojoules per kilogram dry air.